14,347 Ultra. Let's get a Sid the Kid or an OB. Uh, big hit. That is TBD right now. And uh, to give you an on it, like a no BS example, we are getting, I think it's less than, I think about 8% of what we uh, ordered. Finalist for the Jets of Heatley. And to give you an idea, it's not like we ordered an absorbent amount. So I don't want anyone thinking like, oh, you ordered like 500 cases. Obviously, no store would order that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. We got very little. Like, literally next to nothing for us. Which is very upsetting. Yeah. The worst cut I think I had before here was about like 30%. Barker, rookie for the Hawks. I think about 30% of what we ordered. This one is, I think, 7%. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Golden. Hey, Duke, scoring, Lee, or scoring Kings for the Avalanche. As I said, the worst product before this was around 30%. That was my worst. This one's about 7 Finalist of Forsberg for the Avs. I am going to try to. I just don't even know if we have enough to do all that, which is really sad. Different maker, Steve Eiserman. Steve Eiserman. Red Wings. So the only thing is, is I just don't know yet if I'll have another opportunity to buy it like the next day for more money. And if I can do that, so here's the way I would do it. Peter Budai for the Avalanche is if I can get more, I might save what I what little I have in the beginning, try to cost average it, and that way I can do a break at a reasonable price. The only downside, it might take a day or two to get the second batch in. Um, David, oh, if you have a great on file, yes, please email. Iserman finalist for the Red Wings, and congrats, by the way. Congrats on the uh, Suzuki. Is it Suzuki? Yeah. Super six of Joe Sackick for the Avalanche. So I might go that route on it um, to be able to do a break. Nord Green for the Carolina Hurricanes rookie. Because that might be the only way I can actually do it. Bobby Clark for the uh, Philadelphia Flyers, finalist. And we've got for the Anaheim Ducks, rookie of Getzlaff. So I, I do anticipate, in my aunt's opinion, I do anticipate I'll be able to buy more pretty quickly. I just don't know how much price-wise it's going to skyrocket, which is... So that's just the way the industry is. I'm not complaining about it, just that's... The realistic things. There's no point about running away from it. Pruka rookie for the Rangers. We've got a Heatley scoring Kings for the Ottawa Senators. Esposito finalist for the Hawks. So, yeah. Fun, fun this year. Yon Danny, once I can get it out, for the Montreal Canadiens rookie. So this year has been uh, the most intriguing, fun, hard, whatever you want to call it year. Also, random question as I'm watching baseball right now. Bell four finalists for the Dallas Stars. Do they? And I'm not. I'm trying to say this in the nicest way possible. Because at Toronto versus Houston, 
Is there like any spiking of COVID going on in Houston at all these events, or do they just not care at this point? Or do they track that? Super Six Mario Lemieux for the Penguins. Stepniak for the St. Louis Blues, rookie. Yeah, I'm like legitimately curious. That field looks like it's pretty damn filled. And I'm just wondering, like, are their cases spiking? Are they the exact same as they were? Are all of them vaccinated? Like, how are they uh, filling up like 40,000 seats there and just rocking it out apparently? Best friends in the room. Stemniak rookie for the Blues. Hopefully, it's not the same rookies in this box. Like, if they just don't care about COVID and the numbers, then that's one thing. Surely this is not helping their numbers. Alfred Sen for the Ottawa Senators. Super Six Patrick Waugh for the Avalanche. Pruka for the Rangers. Yeah, I'm like I'm legitimately curious on that goal. And like, I know if, uh, UFC just did the event in Florida. Like, do they just legit not care about the numbers at all, and just it is what it is? You know, if they get it, they get it. If they don't, they don't. I find it a little interesting. It's crazy seeing it. It almost seems abnormal now. Numbers are down in Texas. See, how does that even make sense? Finalist of Matt Sundin for the Maple Leafs. Interesting. Now, again, maybe it's a dumb, dumb, dumb question. Is that anything to do with the weather, though? With Texas being, like, super hot? Like, Peter Budai. For the avalanche. I find that incredible how that's possible. Scoring kings of Mike Ribeiro for the Habs. Finalist of Lindros for the Philadelphia Flyers. We've got an Olesh rookie for the Panthers and a finalist of Goretzky for the Oilers. I know some people at the UFC were in mask, which is obviously their decision. It's fine. I'm just kind of curious if the numbers are good or bad. He's like, the baseball game from what I see when I see any of the crowd, very, very, very few people are wearing masks right now. Now, I also do understand that most, like a lot of the U.S. has been vaccinated way more than Canada. Yon Denny for the Habs. Wow. Scoring Kings of Patrick Eliash. The New Jersey Devils. Finalist of Stastny for the Habs. This makes me wonder how we're this how we're this bad in Ontario. Yet everyone's wearing masks for the most part. We got a Doan scoring Kings. Shane Doan. Have they golden? So if that's the case, that makes sense then, right? Whole wag. 
for the Rangers. Finalist of Doan for the Coyotes. Hey, if they've beaten it for the most part, good for them. It's a pretty big accomplishment. Scoring Kings of Richards for the Tampa Bay Lightning. And a Wozniewski rookie for the Maple Leafs. 